blood drives are a way for students within the community to help give back for every unit of blood a student donates, to, up to two people can be helped. I've been the student council advisor for five, six, seven years now. It became a much more important process at Maynard after the passing of student Erica Vasquez. So students came out in support of her family and other people that had been in car accidents. And I know personally my mother is a diabetic who's on dialysis and she has over the course of the last three years needed seven units of blood to replenish her system and if it was not for students like the students here at the high school and teachers and other people in the community that donate my mother wouldn't have had the seven units that she needed to keep her alive so I started donating when I was teaching high school in San Diego and I've been donating for 15 years my name is Quentin Walker I'm kind of nervous because I never did it before all right, Quentin, how you doing? Pretty good. It's going to be crazy. I'm scared, but it's not really that bad. But I guess it's because I'm doing the Alex. Yeah. It kind of it splits my... What is it split again? Uh, your red cells. Yeah. My red cells for my plasma cells. It's pretty simple. And it's a little... It's a smaller needle. Yeah, I don't know if you were scared of needles, but... I was scared of the fact that blood was going to come out of my skin. Come out of my skin. Alright, Terrence, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, have you ever donated blood before? I've donated blood about three or four times. So, uh, you do know that you get an uh, honor cord for this, right? Yes, I hope I get an honor cord. You know, people need blood. A lot of people can't get the sort of blood that they need. So, the more people who give, the more chances. Do you remember your first time giving blood? Uh, yeah. How did you feel? Um, I wasn't too nervous. I was kind of nervous because I wouldn't know how I would react to the needle. And to relax the whole time, don't, don't be nervous. If you feel in your brain that the needle's going to hurt, it's going to hurt. Then if you just relax, it's going to hurt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you know somebody who's interested in donating and they're scared, have them talk to a student council member. Have them go to the uh, Blood and Tissue Center website. There's information on height and weight requirements, um, what medications you cannot be taking in order to donate, uh, misconceptions about piercings and tattoos. You can have a tattoo as long as it's done in a licensed parlor and you're 18, you can donate within eight hours of getting that tattoo. I finally gave him blood and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was actually. It was pretty entertaining and interesting. It helps us for a better cause and I like to help out the community and people who are in hospitals because they need it. I would hope for everybody in Maynard High School and beyond Maynard High School to give blood as well because it helps. You know, I'm sorry if this is hard for you to take, but a lot of it just needs saying. And I don't see anyone else out there giving out. And if I don't do this, who's going to do it? And maybe if someone hears these words, maybe the whole world gets round and listens to what I'm saying. Maybe we have a chance. Because I don't want to see another child crying. I don't want to see another dog dying in a street. I so why don't you do something?